Hello there everybody, Sam's Trains here, welcome back to the railway for another video. Today I'm going to be attempting something that I haven't attempted for quite a few years, and that is to show every single locomotive in my collection in one single video. Recently it has come to my attention that my loco collection has grown to over 500 engines. Now I know what you're going to say, yes I need help and if anybody knows how to help me please do get in touch. But the fact is it's happened, there's over 500 of them now and I thought it would make an interesting video to quickly, I hasten to add that, quickly, briefly, whatever you want to call it, go over each engine and just show them all off in a single video. So we're going to do that and then at the end I've got a bit of a surprise planned for you so I hope you enjoy that. As we go keep a look out if there's any loco that you'd like to see another review of let me know. If you spot a particular favourite of yours also comment down below and let me know. I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to get some of them wrong so I hope you enjoy that. Feel free to correct me if you want to. I know you probably will anyway. Okay wish me luck. Let's get started. So we're going to start off in some of the random nooks and crannies where I've taken to storing locos. So we've got a couple of rail cars. We've got the Lima one, the Helgen one, Great Western, Hornby Class 70, or is it a Class 71? Here we go. I've started already with my indecisiveness. And then behind there, we've got a few more locos. We've got a Helgen Class 52, a Helgen Parcels DMU, and then we've got the Helgen Metropolitan Bobo at the back. Then we've got a few odds and ends in the museum. We've got the Sam's Trains Gladstone. We've got my Manning Wardle tank engine, my old copper knob, love that one. There is Miles, the experimental engine, and also my first ever 3D printed loco, which is an obvious monstrosity, but still a working loco, so deserves a mention. Most of the engines in my Wren collection are packed up in boxes, unfortunately, so if you want to see those, you'll have to check a previous collection video. There's one in the top corner now. But a few of them I have kept out on the shelves include the Duchess, lovely Wren Duchess, the Wren Castle, the Wren R1, which doesn't exist from any other manufacturer as far as I know, and then we've got a random one there. Not sure what that one's doing there, but that's the Hornby Class 73, I want to say. <laughs> Not a Wren. <laughs> So some of the shelves are a little bit high up and you won't be able to see them that great so we're going to go extra quick over these. Left to right we have the Hattons P-Class, the Hornby S and DJR Ginty, Hornby M7, the old Hornby Terrier, the new Hornby Terrier, we have the Hornby E2, we have the Kerno BT Well Tank, we have a mystery loco which I don't immediately recognise. What is it now? I think it's a Class 3, it's one of the, yeah it's a standard Class 3 tank, there we go. Then we've got a 56XX next to that. Is that a 14XX next to it? Yeah, 1400. Is that another one? Yeah, another 1400. So we've got a couple of the Hornby ones there. We've got a J72 from Backman. That's the old tooling one. We've got the 72XX, Great Western from Hornby. The Backman Railway Children Pannier Tank. And some of Chris's 3D printed loco bodies on some Hornby 040 chassis. So this is the last of the ridiculously high ones for the time being. We've got the Backman 64XX pannier tank, the J94 from DJM. We have, hard to recognise some of these from the side. I think that's the Backman Ginty. Yeah, oh, careful there. We've got the NER E1 from Backman, the Dapple Terrier, another Airfix 14XX, the Great Western 52XX from Hornby, Old Lima J50 next to that. This one I don't recognise from the front end. Uh, oh, that's an old Hornby Ginty, blimey. Hornby H-Class next to that. Um, what's this one? That's the Midland 1F from Backman. Then we've got another Pannier tank from Hornby, that's one of the old ones. J50, really cool tank engine that, that's the modern Hornby one. We've got the Backman Porter 040, we've got the J83, is it something like that? J94 again next to that, a saddle tank. J13 next to that one, that's a Hornby one. We've got the Backman USA dock tank. Next to that we've got the 6100 locomotive. Webb coal tank next to that. 
another Hornby Ginty, second from the end, and then we've got the Backman 03 shunter right at the end. Ah, you can see a little bit better now. So this is my shelf of small locomotives. Let's start. Rapido J70, another Hatton's P-Class. We have a Hornby slash Golden Valley Models Barclay 060. We've got the Barracaldo locomotive there at a bit of an angle. Next to that, we have the Grey 1361 from DJM, is that one. We've got the weird Hornby Steampunk loco, Hornby Bill next to that. Daphne, the Maroon Pecket, which I very much love. Sentinel next to that, Hornby Terrier on the right of that, another Hornby Pecket in the photographic grey, special edition Smokey Joe next to that one, another Pecket in the leaf green, two Hatton's Andrew Barclay locomotives in the Caledonian and a random industrial livery, and the B2 Pecket, that's the 060 flavour. Then we've got the LMYR Pug in LMS livery, the Dapple B4, the Helgen 1361. <laughs> The Hornby Pecket in the black, the little, is it Austrian rail bus type thing, I'm not sure, and the Hornby 040 Sentinel. So now we are on to most of my 060 tender engines, with some exceptions. We've got a Fleischmann here. Oh, I'm going to struggle with these. I think that is the Backman C-Class, maybe. We've got the Hornby 4F, the Oxford Dean Goods. We've got a Lima 3F there, which is quite a special little loco. We've got the Bon Bonnet 060 from, uh, was it France, I think? Something like that. Hornby Q1, Hornby 700 class, another Hornby Q1, the Backman 812, lovely Caledonian loco. Another C-Class there with the lining. Then we've got another Oxford Dean Goods. Then we've got the Backman Collet class next to that. Hornby J15 next to that. I think that's a J11 from Backman. Next to that we have the Oxford J27. Then we have two Hornby J36 locos in the NBR and the LNER lined black. Then we have a Dealey 3F from Backman, I believe it is. Another Hornby 4F. Goodness knows what that one is. Uh, is, that another, is that the Backman 4F? Yeah, I think it probably is. And then a mainline colic class on the very end there. So now we are on the vintage locos. This is the Triang shelf. So very quickly we have the B12s. We have a few transcontinental locos. We've got the standard class 3 or 4. Can't remember quite now. We've got the IVAC class 2 next to that. A few Caledonian singles. We've got a Dean single right there. The Pannier tank in the London transport livery. Another Dean single. Another Drummond single. Then we've got another 2MT next to that, an old Triang 2P. Then we've got the J83, a Ginty next to that, two L1 locomotives in the Southern Green and the BR Green, respectively, two Dealey 3F locomotives, two Pannier tanks, looks like another Ginty over there, and then on the very end we have three M7s. Then we've got a custom turbo motive here, a couple of dock shunters, three 08 shunters, as you can see, We've got the old saddle tank, which is some sort of LBSC design or, or an SECR, something like that. It's not particularly realistic. Another pannier tank and another 3F dealy on the end there. Then we've got another B12, a couple of N15 locomotives, three Flying Scotsman models, two Britannias, uh, one, two, three, four, five Hall class locomotives, three Princesses, we have four Bullied Pacifics, and three duchesses in three different liveries lms black lms crimson lake and lms coronation blue so we're up high again sorry for that but starting from the left we have some faces that you might recognize so we've got regular james then busy b james then we've got spencer donald and douglas um who have we got in the front here we've got donald at the front so douglas is just behind him out of sight say hello douglas hello <laughs> cracking impression there <clears throat> anyway we've got Hornby Henry we've got the Backman Rosie Backman Arian Burt Backman Gordon Backman Henry Hornby James Backman Edward Backman Thomas we've also got another Backman Thomas back over here we've got a Backman Oliver right there uh, Backman Daisy back Hornby oh whoa, almost said Backman Hornby Edward, I don't know why that's such a big deal, but it is. 
Backman, Emily. Backman, Bill and Ben. And here is Bill behind Ben. Then we've got the Backman, Mavis next to Ben. And the Backman, Toby. There we go. Backman, Duck. Backman, Percy, who is a new addition. There he is. Hornby, Percy. Um, Hornby Gordon, and for some ungodly reason, a Hornby Great Western 040. No idea what that's all about. Oh yeah, and also, Hornby Thomas. Almost forgot. Sorry about that, Thomas. <laughs> And now we're getting on to regular locos again. So we've got a Hornby N7, a Hornby M7. Oh, that means I might have called something an M7 earlier that wasn't. A Backman 94XX. We have what I think is going to be a standard four tank. We have, oh, that's tricky. It's one of the Gresley tanks, isn't it? Uh, that's the Backman one. So that's the V3, I'm going to go ahead and say. A couple of Fowler 4Ps. Those are quite easy. We have the Oxford Adams radial tank. We have the L1, which is the other um, LNER tank. I think that's a Thompson, though not a Gresley one. Then we've got the 4575 class, I think it is. We've got that, which is the 2MT, the LMS 2MT. We've got the beautiful Midland 1P. We've got the E4 from Backman, the Oxford N7, the Hornby Adams radial tank the LMYR Class 5 from Backman, another Oxford Adams Radial, another Oxford N2, uh, Mainline slash Airfix, but I think probably Mainline N2 right there. Then we've got another Backman V3 and the Stania tank on the end there. And this at the back is another one of Tom's 3D printed loco bodies. So when it comes to DMUs, I'm really hopeless at remembering the names. And in fact, this one's an EMU, so I even got that wrong. Uh, yeah, it's, it's like the 2EPB or something like that. Uh, apologies, you can comment and let me know about that one. You have my permission. Uh, then we have the Salvage or Scrap Hornby 040 tank engine. Then we have a Backman 9F, the Helgen Tango. <laughs> A Great Northern Hornby M2, really like that. A couple of different large prairie locos, I think they're both Hornby ones. Then we've got the Sprinter, I think it is, yeah, that's probably a Sprinter. Now, is this an S15 or an N15? Its front couplings just come off. Uh, that's Camelot, so that's an N15. Then we've got an IVAC Class 4, the Hornby 2800 class, or 28XX. This is going to be tricky, I think this is the L and ER O. Robinson 04, I think it is. Yeah, we'll stick with that. Hornby B1, very nice. Backman Midland Compound. Hornby Marsh Atlantic, which is an H1, I believe. Backman Crab, that's a Backman Stania Mogul, I think, isn't it? Let's see. Yeah, Stania Mogul. Slightly older Hornby Princess. Then we have the Fairburn Tank. Hornby West Country Class Tangmere. Or is that Battle of Britain? Again, tricky. Hornby Standard Class 4, another Backman Crab, and then a Backman Jubilee Class. Down onto the bottom shelf then, now let's go absolutely berserk and start from the right hand side. Can you handle that? Oh, I think you can. So, not sure what this is, it's, it's a Backman 280. Let's take a guess and say it's a Baldwin 280. If it's American and you don't know, call it a Baldwin, it's a fair chance. Then you've got another Backman Midland Compound, Backman Standard Class 5 right there. Then we've got the D11 ED Ochil Tree, I think that's the Q6, the Raven Q6 from Hornby. Uh, that's the K3 Mogul from Backman, the G2A from Backman as well. Hornby K2, I'm going to go ahead and say. That's the Backman Jubilee again. B17 from Hornby, another N15, that one's Sir Levine. Hornby A1 Tornado, that's obviously the recently constructed locomotive. Standard 4 from Backman, another slightly older Hornby Princess there, still loco drive though. Then we've got this one. Uh, ooh, that could have been the Jubilee. Or is that a Scott? I'm not sure. Uh, it's Madras. I think that might be a Jubilee, you know. I'm not too sure now. That's got me confused now. Please, somebody help in the comments. Um, yeah, then we've got... I think that's a standard four, isn't it? <laughs> Things are getting confusing now. That one's definitely a Patriot. And Duke of Gloucester, that's definitely a standard class eight. <laughs> Right, so we're up high again for the final time. 
And just to be clear, I'm terrible when it comes to diesels. So if I get some of these wrong, I apologize. Uh, I'm also not gonna be going through my drawers of diesels. You'll see some of them later, um, but otherwise that's your lot. So we've got the Wego TGV, I think it is. We've got a Backman Coco American diesel. Very smooth, Sam, nice work. Uh, I think that's a Hornby Class 56, is it? Let's have a quick look at the running number if possible. Something like that. 56, yeah, got it. Shouldn't have checked, should have just been secure in my choice. Uh, behind those, we've got a Backman 121, I can remember that. We've got the RS11 from Rapido. We've got the GG1, that's not, an, that's not a diesel, that's an electric. Then we've got some sort of Dash Loco, that's an old Mahano one. Dapol Class 22, Backman Peak, Murphy Models Class 121, Irish, of course. Hornby Class 66. <laughs> Hornby Eurostar, uh, I think that's going to be a Helgen 26, something like that. Backman Class 20, Backman 10,000 locomotive, that's the early diesel prototype thingy-majig. Then we've got the Clayton, the Helgen Class 17. <laughs> Backman Class 25, that weird cheap Mahano thing. Another power car for the Hornby Eurostar, I think that one is. We've got that weird Deich barn or whatever it was, I can't even remember now. Um, yeah, some sort of Swiss loco or something like that, German, I don't know. Uh, Derby lightweight, and then on the very end there we have the Backman Class 37. And then we have the Dapol Electric, which is, what, 73, something like that? Yeah, in the sort of Dutch engineer's livery. Okay, put that down carefully. So this is a bit of a mix and match shelf. We have the Backman Precedent, the Backman Lord Nelson class. We have a Backman B1 right there. Hornby B12, Hornby 2800 class, the Backman V2, Mainline Royal Scott, Backman Mogul, is that the Mogul? Yeah, that's one of the Backman Moguls. Mainline Royal Scott, another Hornby B12, Backman J39, Hornby Tender Driven Mallard. Oh no, perhaps that's a railroad one. Yeah, railroad Mallard. Hornby Midland Compound, Hornby D49, another Hornby Q1. This one is another Backman B1. Backman N Class, two Backman A4s, and that's the Tender Driven A4. That's Sir Nigel Gresley. Woolwinder, that's the glossy Hornby A4. Couple of Backman Moguls. Ah, so this one was the Manor, I think. Yeah, that's the old Backman Manor. Then we've got the little uh, Wickham trolley, <laughs> Backman Gandhi Dancer, another Backman 64XX, Backman Baldwin 460, that's right, isn't it? Yeah. And of course, the dead fried Backman Gandhi Dancer. Fun fact, I think this one's probably the largest shelf in the room. So we've got the vintage old-timey Backman 440, two Hornby Coronations, we've got the War Department LMR 280, another Hornby Tornado, Hornby P2, Hornby 8F, another Hornby Tornado, I think that's the third one. Hornby King Class, ah, oh, now we get into the Great Western 460s. I'm going to have to look at the names and cheat. That one's quite clearly a hall, though. Yep, that's a hall, even though I looked. I'm cheating, just forgive me. Uh, Backman 7F, Hornby A4 Mallard, Backman Hall Class, another, that's an A1, isn't it? Yeah, that's an A1, or an, uh, yeah, an A1, yeah. Got it right first time. Uh, that's the, another Robinson design, that's probably the War Department one. Uh, it's the 28. Uh, 280, yeah. Uh, another Hornby Duchess, Backman A1, that's WP Allen. Hornby King Class in the blue, that's the Hornby Hogwarts locomotive castle flavour. Hush Hush, rebuilt. A22 locomotive, that's a Hornby Grange. Another Hornby A1, that's a Backman A2, I believe it is. Then we've got the Hornby Britannia Class, another Hornby West Country Class, and then we've got some more 460s here. There should be a I think that's British Monarch, so that's a star class. This one is probably a castle. Uh, no, King Edward V, it's a king. Then we've got the Hornby clan class right there near the end, and then we've got the experimental purple Hornby A4. Okay, bottom shelf, at last I've got my Hornby S15. Then we've got the unstreamlined Hornby Duchess, that I think is the Hornby Royal Scot. Hornby Merchant Navy, rebuilt. That's going to be the Hornby Black 5 in the Railways range. This is another one of those. I think this is the Great Western flavour of the 280 or the Robinson 280 design. Then we've got the Hornby... Or is this Backman? Yeah, that's a Backman Hall, isn't it? Yeah, that's another Backman Hall. 
an A3 at last, yep, after all the A1s. Random diesel, that's going to set some people off, isn't it? What's that doing amongst the steamers? That's the Dapple Great Western Railcar. Unrebuilt or streamlined Merchant Navy from Hornby. That's the Castle class of the Hogwarts Castle, so Castle variety. Another Hornby Duchess without the streamlining. Another Hornby 8F loco. Uh, this one, this one's confusing. What is this? I, I didn't even know I'd got this. What on earth is it? Uh, Stanway Hall. Oh, that's another hall. Hornby Hush Hush. Well, I'm not going to forget what that is in a hurry. GT3 gas turbine. That's the new Hornby Princess, the more recently tooled one. Railroad P2 locomotive. Thompson 01 and another Merchant Navy. That's Canpac on the end. One of my absolute favourites. <laughs> So in an effort to keep this video at least reasonably short, I'm not going to include the O-Gage Locos today. So let's carry on with the HO or 001s. We've got the Backman 03 Shunter, we've got the Helgen 07, quite a nice Loco. Hornby Ruston, and behind it we've got another Express Dairy Hornby Ruston. Backman High Railer Bus, we've got the Backman 08, the Janus Shunter from Oxford Rail, uh, another Sentinel behind that, which you can't really see that well. Then we've got the hideous Mahano 040 thing, not sure what it's supposed to be. Porter Tank from River Ossi. Behind that there's the, I think it was it the Pico My Rail rubber band powered loco, something like that. The Evil Circle locomotive, uh, that one is the River Ossi 060 tank, I believe. Backman Tram there, we've got the AliExpress knockoff 040. Russian Decapod, I believe. Mahano 440, Mahano Camelback. Backman Prairie. <laughs> and two Mahano Wabash Pacifics. All right, we're getting there, folks, we're getting there. So we've got a Backman Duke Dog, a Backman IVAT 2MT, a Backman City Class, another Hornby Sentinel. I apologize for the mess here, but we've got the rubbish Hornby rolling stock for Stevenson's Rocket. <laughs> Stevenson's Rocket itself, we've got a few Hornby T9s, two of those. Hornby B12, we've got the River Rossi Casey Jones locomotive. Hornby 2P, Backman C1 Atlantic, crikey I've forgotten about this one, uh, some sort of mogul I think, <laughs> I don't know, I'm not that clued in on American locos. We've got the Hornby D16 which I love, Backman N class, Hornby T9, s and djr 2P from Hornby, Hornby Schools class, the Dapple mogul and another Hornby Schools class in the Malachite. Bottom shelf, then we have the absolute unit of a Hornby Schools class, the world's strongest steam locomotive with all the extra driving wheels. Helgen Garrett, Helgen uh, Backman class 24, I think it is. Then you've got the GP9, is that? That one's the Walther's one. We've got John Bull hiding at the back there. Backman Berkshire, Polar Express, some French 210, I think, I'm not entirely sure. Backman Hudson, um, another large Backman loco. Uh, I think that's another Hudson as well, perhaps. Um, GG4 Daylight, yeah, I know that one. Golden Eagle from Hornby, that's another um, strange Lima locomotive. Not entirely sure about that one. Dean Single, Lord of the Isles type thing, yet again. H2 Atlantic, another City class, that one's City of Truro, obviously. D11 Mons right there. Dapple D class and the Hornby D16 on the end there. Next up then, we've got a bit of a randoms shelf and my access to this isn't great, so I'll, I'll do my best. So we've got the Dapple class 52. We've got the new Backman V2 locomotive, older Backman class 20. Then we've got the Athern GP40, something like that. That's probably wrong. BR Black Hornby B12. Is that a 92? Again, not very good with electrics, but it's a Hornby electric of some description. This is another Great Western 460. We haven't had the castle, so of course, yeah, that is the castle. That's an easy one. A Cura Scale Class 55. Yeah, absolutely love that. Is that the Class 19? I forget now. It's the Helgen Bobo. Uh, that's another Hornby loco. Is that a Class 60? Let's have a quick look. Yeah, that's a Class 60. Yeah. Then we've got the B3, B4 loco. That's the Swiss one. Hornby Lord Nelson, new Backman Class 37. We've got the EFE Hymec, the Dapple Class 68. I think that's going to be another Hull Class on the end there. And then we've got the Railgun, which is not a locomotive, but hey, you can have it anyway. 
Coming up to the last little area then, I'm sorry about the poor visibility here, tried to light it as best I can. From the left then, we've got the Hornby Railroad Midland Compound. Yeah, this is the railroad shelf. Hornby County Class 440, another Hornby Railroad Schools Class, Hornby Railroad Midland Compound, Hornby Railroad D49. I'm gonna stop saying Hornby Railroad for each of those, but you get the idea. Schools Class B17, I think it is. County Class, <laughs> D49, A4 Mallard, A4 Gadwell, Scotsman. Ooh, Scotsman looking a bit lopsided there. Sorry about that, Scott. And then finally, this is a really rubbishy shot. I'm sorry about that. On the left, we have the 9F that I drove. Not sure I ever mentioned that, but yes, for my 21st, I did drive a 9F. <clears throat> Evening Star next to that. Franco Crosti and regular black 9F next to that. Railroad Black 5. Two Railroad Patriots. I've started saying Railroad every time again. Apologies. Um, we've got the County Class 4460. Oh, there we go. Yeah, not 4460. 460. There we go. Another Hall Class. That one's Alton Hall. Then we've got the Warship, the Class 40, and the Class 48. I'm going to go for. So that is it for the Loco Collection, except for all the diesels I've got in drawers, but they're going to be a like, nightmare to film, like seriously. So, let's get on with that surprise that I've been building up to for this whole video, and I hope you enjoy it. Well folks, that was an incredibly big job. But here you have it. This is most, not even all, I couldn't fit them all out here, but most of the locomotives in my collection. I would say there's got to be probably over 400 just here and, you know, a good number that I wasn't able to fit. But this lot really is my pride and joy and it's become a real army, hasn't it? One of two armies that Sam's Trains is <laughs> sort of head of. Got my army of locomotives, and of course then my army of friends, which are you guys. And I couldn't have raised this particular army that you're seeing on the screen right now without your help. So thank you so, so much for your support. I hope you enjoyed seeing the collection. Like I say, this has been the last decade or so of my life's work, which is incredibly sad, I understand. But to see it all in one go is quite crazy. I've never seen my entire collection in one go, in one place before, because you can't do this while they're all on shelves. So this is quite an experience. It looks like I've been robbed because there's nothing on the shelves. This is actually a terrifying sight. Can you imagine coming up and seeing this? I think, blimey, I've been robbed. But no, there they are. If you want to see some more photos of the whole collection down here as I've got it, then follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, even Twitter. I'll be posting some of that on there if I haven't already. Thank you for watching. Do comment down below if you've seen anything you'd like me to re-review. I will totally do that. But for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. All right, cheers everybody.